battery look like. Hello there. Today we are doing behind the scenes of my channel. A must see video that no one will see. And I'm excited to tell you people about my channel. I have many, many good things to tell. So let me start with a joke. Um, so if there was a war between the cats and the dogs and the people, it would probably be cats versus the dogs versus the people, right? I'm telling it wrong, but of course the cats and the dogs wouldn't be on the same team. But eventually they write a peace treaty, and um, they sign it with their paws, and um, that's it. There's more to the joke, but I don't feel like telling it. So... What should we talk about? Can it Mario? Everyone's favorite show. So, I always knew that I wanted to do a controller review show when I decided I wanted to do YouTube. So that's what I did. And this is what I came up with. So I do endless research. I read all the reviews on Amazon and watch all the YouTube videos. And I do my best to find the other stuff. And that's an interesting pro part of the process. I also... Hmm, I tell a joke at the beginning of every episode. I do a special effect at the beginning of every episode using Photoshop and Premiere, Adobe Premiere. I do quite a bit. I do fancy shots of the controller, which I really enjoy. Those are fun, coming up with new angles, new ways to look at it. I do a lot. Uh, what else do I do? I test the controllers thoroughly. Oh, I'm always trying to learn new things. And I, uh, I enjoy the part where I shoot the, like, can it Mario? The Mario parts. Where I find out if it can Mario. That's always really fun. Yeah, the reason I'm so monotone, especially in those videos, is because I have to, um, it's basically a list of pros and cons, of a list of things I like and things I don't like, and I have to read that list, and it's not very fun to listen to someone list off a bunch of stuff like you're in, you know, history class or something. So, that's the, that's the reasoning behind why that sounds particularly monotone. It's very difficult to do that. I'm working on it constantly. It's very, very difficult to, very difficult to do stuff like that. Uh, let's see, anything else to tell you people about Can and Mario? Uh, so I don't use, like, when I use non-Nintendo controllers, I have adapters that I can plug into my PC so that I can play Mario on my PC and then upload that footage. I also use those adapters to test the controllers sometimes, just because it's you know, easier, and I can test test out way more games. So, that's always fun. I like Can It Mario. I plan on, on keep doing it. I have something really cool coming up. In fact, there's a controller you should check out. The Hori Split Pad Pro. Hori Split Pad Pro. It's a Joy-Con replacement. Pretty sweet. You should get one. So, 
It's yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's missing some features. It doesn't drain the battery that badly, but it is missing some features. <coughs> so I I recommend I recommend it. And there is a video that I'm working on about it that should be coming out Okay, at some point. So be uh you know, be ready. It's gonna it's gonna be a good one. Gonna be my best yet, probably. Of Can It Mario anyway. So now now we should talk about Virtual Garage. If that show does not get enough love, it is almost as good as Can It Mario. And I think people should watch it. I think that it has music that I write. I write music, in case you didn't know. And I usually write whatever I think will fit for whatever the car review is. So I work very hard on that. And I, um, it's basically a car review show. With flashy shots. And it has jokes in it. And I know you may not like cars, but you'll start to like cars. If you just give them a chance. And you, you gotta give this show a chance. I know there's a lot of stuff on my channel to watch. And there's a lot of stuff in general. But you need to you need to make a list. And you need to figure out what you're going to watch. And you got to watch some of it. Because... You're just going to keep looking at my channel, and you're going to be, Oh man, I wish I watched that. Oh man, I wish I watched that. I wish I had more time. So. Anyway, Virtual Garage, good show. Check that out. Mario Maker 2. Another, I make the levels. And I do a really good job. And they're fantastic. They're actually really great levels. I suggest that you play the levels, and then if you can't beat one, you should watch the video on how to beat it. And look for alternate paths with the videos. So, those are great. Those are incredible. I'm very inspired by Shigeru Miyamoto. And all the fun that he's put into all of his games. He's really good. He's the best one. And Nintendo's the best. I'm a huge Nintendo fanboy. They're, they're my favorite. So. Check out the Mario Maker levels. I spent a lot of time on them. You should see the levels I've made recently. They're just outstanding. Outstanding levels. So, let's move on to um, my Let's Plays. So, the format where I shoot video of myself and I shoot the gameplay is about to end. It's going to just be... It's going to just be gameplay. But, and vocals. But, it will continue. I enjoy it very much. I found it's very difficult to play video games and talk at the same time. It's like whenever you're talking, you kind of go blind and you play the game. Just <clears throat> play the game blind. And um, I try to write things down beforehand so that I may so that I may um, have things to talk about. And I always come up with unique things that have never been said before. I feel like. And. Yeah. The Let's Plays are great. I can make them real quick too. So. So some videos you should probably check out. We got the Ganondorf Challenge. Where I beat the Ganondorf Challenge. 
um, you'd have to, if you're not a Smash Brothers fan, you wouldn't know what that's about, but it's very good. <clears throat> There's a music gift card that I made, where, music card, where it plays a song, and you open up the card, and it's a cover from Link's Awakening. I did a good job, and I think anyone could enjoy it. I need to upload a video of just I need to upload a video of just that. That'd be a so you could download it and bump it in your car. That's a joke. I don't suggest you do that. But it's a good song, and it's a good video, and it's a good card. So. Check it out. So, a great video you should check out is Stuff on My Game Shelves. That's where I show off stuff on my game shelves. And um, the stuff on my game shelves are really cool. And I really, um, I, was, I was sure I was going to say it again. So, I very carefully picked out what I wanted. And I made sure it was all very inexpensive, except for one thing, and I ordered some things from China, because I was willing to wait. So, good video, good video, highly recommend it, great thumbnail for the video. So the Bat Pewter, that is a computer that Batman would own. It is the bat it is the computer that Batman would game on and he would play Batman on it. Something like that. The gaming computer Batman would game on playing Batman if Batman played games on computers. Close enough. So cool video, cool song that somebody wrote. Pretty epic. Good good stuff. Too bad the case that it came with that I bought kind of sucks. Kind of really sucks. But, um, I guess I don't care. I still can, can use it just fine. So, um, as I said earlier, I write music. And I, I work pretty hard on it. And, um, yeah, you should check out all the songs that are in Virtual Garage. I don't write the intro, but I write the review portion of the music, and I, re and I wrote the outro. So, and of course the music gift card, I wrote the cover for that. So I recommend you write, you listen to the music. It's all really cool. Short, but good. Short, but good. So, I don't know why this is here, but here is a list of things that video games help with. Hand-eye coordination, memory, reaction time, problem solving, puzzle solving, hand strength, multitasking, pacing how hard I work. When I take breaks, guessing how long it will take to do something, being patient, spatial recognition, sharing, concentration, probably other stuff, period. So, um, one thing about sharing with video games is you don't have to play a multiplayer game to have fun with your buddy. You can... Pick up, pick up a one-player game and play through it together. Or you can pick up, like, a racing game or something. And you each have, you know, you, you have a car that you work on together. Maybe you have two cars. I would say one car at a time. And you, you just work, you work together. And 
I don't suggest that you spend a lot of time looking down at your cell phone. You want to spend spend that time with your with your buddy playing video games. So I uh that's that's how it's helped with sharing. Some of the games I'm playing right now are Mario Maker. I know I'm not talking about behind the scenes anymore, but we're having so much fun. So, oh man, that sounded terrible. So, I've been playing Mario Maker a lot, making really, really, really cool levels. And I've been uh, playing a lot of Smash Brothers. So, I've been having incredible fun. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I've been playing. I'm playing um, some uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I've been playing some Pokemon. I've been playing uh, a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff. I racked up a lot of weapons in Grand Theft Auto. Got got pretty pretty good at stacking them weapons. So that that was a lot of fun. I stopped playing though because it just it was just too dark. Kind of a messed up game if you ask me. Fun game, but messed up. So what am I eating recently? I'm eating um I've had a bunch of these Burger King Spicy Chicken Juniors with extra pickle and extra onions. Which also comes with lettuce and chipotle mayo. And it's a fried chicken patty with heavy breading and black pepper. Probably some some uh, paprika. Probably some other spices. So, I highly recommend, they will give you heartburn, so maybe just eat one, and then have a, a bunch of fries or something. Um, maybe even mix them as you eat them. You'd probably put the fries on, on the, the, the spicy chicken junior. You can definitely do that with hamburgers, put the fries on the burger. That's a trick that's really good. Like, I'll, I'll put the fries on a McDonald's burger... Or I'll put the fries on, like, a Baconator from Wendy's. I'm getting really hungry right now. Yeah, that's a good good thing to do. So, what else? Hmm. Apparently my Let's Plays might be the best of all, according to my notes. One hell of a revelation. So, I'm going to go over the list again in my head. See if I can come up with anything that you people need to know about. And then, uh... And then, uh, yeah... So, yeah, I don't see anything here important. Important. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. This, um, this video, so, yeah, maybe I should, uh, leave you with some advice, we're all our own worst enemy, we have the most power too.
hurt ourselves. I guess try to just be a better person. All right. I guess I could give a little bit more advice. So, about your game room, I recommend that you don't put all your controllers into a box because then the buttons get pressed down, the triggers get pressed down, the analog sticks get pressed in odd directions. It's not good for them. I put mine on a shelf. A shelf. A shelf? A shelf. I put it on shelves. I put it on one shelf. So, and keep your boxes. Keep your boxes to, to pretty much as much as you can in general. And keep your boxes for your controllers because if you want to bring your controller somewhere, if you can carefully put it into your box, you can carry it with you that way. And, yeah, I'm trying to think, uh, can't think of, uh, much else on that note. Hmm. Oh, and don't grip your controllers tight, tightly. You want to, uh, have a very loose grip. It's much better that way. Much, much better. And, um, it's all I can think of. Hmm. So, yeah. 